Vera Corsi, and she lived in Biddyford at East of Water. And um, she used to make the gloves at, at, at the glove factory and bring them home. And we used to help cook them out for her because that was our job, what we had to do, both of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a few samples. So it was what they called pairing, and you had to cut that off, which she wouldn't let us do. Um, and then we had to turn it inside out so that it come like that. And then the other one would be poking the fingers out. That's how you got them like that. And it's very monotonous to do, especially for little money. They wouldn't do it today. I wanted to throw them in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Slave labour. Yeah, that's what I used to call it, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I threatened it heaps of times because there was no saying no. You had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, his memories. Because when we lost our dad, she was glad of the company as well as the money. Um, but I'm not sure of the yeah. actual pay packet, but they didn't bring home very much money. If I earned seven pounds, she thought she was lucky for a week. It's a week toiling, hard work, because that's Making hard them. work. Oh yeah, definitely. But um, so I can't really remember anything more. Yeah. I did look for a poking stick. I'm but, sure I got them on there somewhere, but but we couldn't we couldn't find it. I couldn't, couldn't find it because our dad put our initials in the bottom, VG. <laughs> <laughs> well, these was in our house when, when she we, passed when she on, passed away. and I'm a bit of a little hoarder, so I kept them. <laughs> It's only for memory's sake of what my mum used to do to earn a few extra luxuries. Well, she was well in her 70s when she finished. Um, it was because the factory closed. But she would have carried on until she couldn't walk the bridge anymore.